Hi, cold area cup car workshop again. Now this section is talk about uh, the wheels installation. And you remember 142 gram for the waist. But the wheels are also very important because the friction. Think about it, when the car going down to the track, your wheels install wrongly or uh, something crooked, uh, it won't make it fast. Because speeds are very important for the cup car too. Uh, for the wheels, we do have an axle. Now, i seen someone, they try to bend the axle, try to fit uh, the wheels in angle that way. But I would say, no, 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 don't do that, because when the kid, they install the wheels, they will install that crook like this. Still work. And also some tips is like, uh, like what I'm saying, four wheels work, three wheels fast and two wheels the faster. Uh, how are you going to check the two, uh, three wheels on the, on the ground? You see this one, they go kick -oo, kick -oo, kick -oo. that means only the, the back two wheels and uh, the right hand side wheels are on the ground, but this one's away from that. Or like this one, you can, you can feel it, but not this one, there's nothing to move, okay, nothing, nothing to move. Nothing move. Okay, you can tell. So that's the way how I how I am testing that. Okay, and uh, I will tell you the other tips how you make the axle better. Okay, so um, now I'm using the uh, hand drill. I'm going to install the, um, the file in there. Okay, so do the same way. Nope, sorry, I'm wrong. <laughs> Actually, you need to install the axle. Now you see the close-up for those different type of axle. Uh, some is wrong already. Okay, you see here. You see here is wrong. This is a good one. Now I show you the bad one. This is bad. You see all the manufacturing cut over here. How are you going to clean up this? I'm going to put this in to the hand drill. Okay, strong enough. I'm going to using a few ways to show you. One way is you can uh, put your files against to the flange here. Okay, now you hear the, the sounds is like pretty noisy. Or you can use a sandpaper to sand it like this. Okay. Don't forget to make your sandpaper really sharp to make it work that way. Okay. Okay. But I prefer using a file to make it work. You see the files are Okay, be careful the file, some kind of file like this. This I have no rough surface. No rough surface, only those flat side. So using a flat side against that. Okay. See that? See whether it works better. Now you can have a close up, you can tell the pieces of that is gone. That means when you when you put it on for the flat side of the wheels, there's nothing to going to catch. Okay? You can hear that. The sounds are very smooth. Okay, the other way is you need to using a dry lubricate for that. On the market, they have a few different brands to make that. You can using the one for the keyhole, or they call a gravel lubricate, or someone I get it from the scale shop. So either way works. So how are you going to use it? Before you put this in, 
you have to put one oops on the wheels over here okay okay and then the whole axle anywhere you can put it on by putting it in there and turn it slightly okay okay then you can hear the sounds are even less okay sprint it sprint it let all the gravel between the axle and the wheel hole you can feel it is faster okay now you see how long it takes to stop okay now the other way is after that you're using because your car is already designed you don't want to damage the design so this is why you need some uh, blocking to hold your vehicle for example okay you need to hold like this because the other wheels shouldn't touch on the table if you go like this and bang 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 in the wheels you damage the other two you already installed okay so what I'm going to do I'm going to put this one and I think it's that one no, I don't need the uh, oh that one there okay and that one yeah okay so you're going to put on there okay you hold you hold your wheels that way okay and by using a hammer hammer in the other way you see it move so you can add on the other piece at the front to make it balance to hold that firmly depends on the shape of your designs okay how far you want to go not too far do you remember I said save it like 164 or 130 seconds still okay okay now you can feel it still move okay still move but you see it vibrates that means that it's not straight enough so I still do need to uh, put more in okay you need to check it each time still a little bit need to put it in okay good okay by the way you still need to put some lubricate over here between the wood and the wheels okay so at the same time you spin it okay now someone asked me about that well my kids uh, when they after raising the wheels come off how are you going to do it you need to put some glue to cover the axle to make sure it stays there by using uh, wood glue here's a couple type of the wood glue from the market or you can using a hot gun to put the glue along that like this one okay now the other way is because the regulation of the installation wheels they don't allow to using a push this is what we call push to make the wheels really steady when you put ones in okay it should be like put the wheels on first okay and then they put the push all the way down up to here then they install to the car is illegally for the cup car raising I shouldn't use it illegal but it's not fair for the other youth they really do it properly okay so we'll see you next time thank you